right, welcome to Gabriel's Guitars. Uh, today we've got a sort of unfortunate repair. Um, customer brought the guitar in uh, just looking for a setup and uh, I did not notice it at that time, unfortunately, uh, but the guitar, which appears to be set up, you know, decently, maybe a few small adjustments here and there uh, would be necessitated. Um, however, there did actually happen to be a uh, bit of a headstock. So crack. it is still intact on the guitar. I think you can see that fairly well there. And let me show you the other side. It's a little bit worse on this side. Um, and unfortunately, um, it wasn't picked up during the consultation. However, I called the customer, advised them what's going on, um, and uh, we decided uh, that the best course of action would be to go ahead and get this glued. Um, at very least, stabilize it um, so that it's not going to get worse, um, and uh, and you know the guitar will be playable and comfortable to play. I'm not going to wind up doing any finish repair or anything on this um, at this time. However, uh, this is this is kind of the, the minimal um, required repair, I think, at this point, given the nature of what's going on on the guitar. So, and then of course I will perform a setup as well uh, once that's all glued up and ready to go. So first thing I'm gonna do here um, is get these strings off. Locking tuners are a wonderful invention. They work well. They make changing your strings a lot easier, especially for people who've never quite gotten down how to properly wind their strings. Um, at this point, um, I don't want anything falling off the guitar. Uh, since I'm going to be flipping it over and doing some stuff to it. So I'm just going to add a little piece of tape over things that are that can move. That way I'm not worried about it as, as we kind of go around and do what we need to do here. Uh, now at this point, I'm basically going to assess um, how bad this crack is and, and how I'm able to try to manipulate it to come back together. So I was able, I'm, I'm feeling the crack a little bit more on the treble side of the guitar, um, but I am able to kind of lift the headstock up just a little bit and twist it just slightly to the point where I, I can feel that it's it's even on both sides. So um, that's good news. That means that uh, once I get uh, some glue in here, it'll be relatively easy. The other thing I'm looking at here, you see that the strings uh, being off the guitar, that this crack opens up pretty well. Um, so I'm looking at, you know, the ease of getting glue in there. It's got a small piece right here that is still attached, and I don't want that to go anywhere. Um, when it comes to these kinds of repairs, ultimately what you want to do is not mess with things as much as you possibly can. What I'm going to use is a uh, common but uh, good quality wood glue like tight bond. I'm not endorsed by them or anything like that. Um, however, uh, this is uh, for sure the preferred uh, glue of modern day luthiers. Um, and what I'm going to do is this is a water-based glue. Um, all wood glues are. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is uh, add a little bit of water into this. Um, and make a slightly thinner version of this wood glue because this stuff is fairly thick as is 
and uh, getting it a little bit thinner will allow it to maneuver itself down into those cracks a bit better. So let me get that. Started. All right, so this is a pretty simple thing, honestly. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some sort of vessel to hold on to what I'm doing. I've got my tight bond and I've got a bit of water. Um, and basically all I'm going to do is get a bit of glue down in here. That should be plenty for my needs. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to start with. And then I'm going to use my trusty stir stick slash measuring tool to mix it all together to a desired consistency, which is going to be, you know, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. I want to see that it's still holding together, but that it's, it's much more fluid. All right. So at this point now, what I'm going to do is I've got my, my watered down glue here and I've got myself a paintbrush and I'm going to basically try to use this paintbrush to get as much glue on the inside of this crack as possible. Um, one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put that underneath the guitar so it's angled up at me and so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. At this stage in the game, there's really no such thing as too much glue. Because I really, really want it to get all over the inside of this crack. But I see that I've made a mess somewhere, you know, that's really unnecessary. I will go ahead and Take care of that right away. So I think I've got fairly good glue coverage at this point. Um, actually, I am going to just also make sure that I get all the way inside this section up here by the nut and I'm testing closing that gap as I go uh, for two reasons one it definitely does help with spreading the glue on the interior of the crack uh, but two I, I want to make sure that the the crack is still closing well okay next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a towel get just a bit of water on it and I'm gonna do kind of the bulk cleanup right now of all the exterior I'm definitely gonna to have to go back afterwards and make sure that uh, everything is cleaned but this is a water soluble glue. So I'm gonna use water while it's still wet. Next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my clamps ready. All right, so I'm gonna start with the lower end here first. a little bit easier to clamp. I'm making sure that I get my alignment right on this. I'm cleaning up the majority of the excess glue as I go. Whew. 
And with each clamp that I put on, more and more glue is gonna come out. This will be the last clamp right here. I'm feeling to make sure that there's not a huge noticeable um, like ledge or, or edge to the to where this crack is. A little bit is okay. I will try to uh, even that out um, after the glue has dried. But for right now, that is what is gonna work. All right, now I let this sit for a day or two uh, for everything to dry completely, especially because this is a more wet glue. Um, it will take a bit longer to dry. So I need to be patient with this, but I think it's gonna come out nicely.